Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Surbhi Sharma. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 1st of January. Pakistan violates ceasefire along frontier in India's Jammu and Kashmir. Bangladeshi Premier rejects pole rigging claims after landslide win. And India rings in 2019 with fireworks, dance and revelry. And now for all the details. Pakistani troops on Tuesday targeted forward post along the frontier in India's northern Jammu and Kashmir province. This came two days after the Indian Army foiled a Pakistani border action team strike on one of its forward posts in Jammu and Kashmir. Pakistani Army on Tuesday violated ceasefire along the de facto border line of control or LOC in Punch district of India's northern Jammu and Kashmir province, local residents said. Pakistani troops reportedly fired mortar shells and small arms in Khari Karmara area in Punch district. Meanwhile, the Indian security forces also retaliated to the fire from across the border. However, no casualty was reported till the last reports came in. This comes just a few days after two Indian Army personnel lost their lives during a ceasefire violation by Pakistan on December 21st in Kupwara district of Jammu and Kashmir. जो पाकिस्तान ने नए साल की सेलिब्रेशंस जो है वो हमारे ऊपर गोले बरसाकर यहाँ से शुरू की यहाँ पूरी रात फायर चलता रहा अभी भी आप देख रहे हैं हमारे जो सामने वाली जो जगह है वहाँ उस पर अभी भी वहाँ धुआं चल रहा है आग लगी हुई है तो पाकिस्तान जो ये कायराना हरकत जो हमेशा से करता आ रही है पाकिस्तान की फौज जो है वो इस तरह के हमारे बॉर्डर के लोगों को बहुत मुश्किल जो शैलिंग करते हैं उससे लोग बहुत बड़े परेशान हैं लोग काफ़ी डरे सहमे हुए हैं the troops of arch rivals India and Pakistan intermittently exchanged fire on LOC despite an agreement in 2003 that a ceasefire should be observed along the working boundary. Both New Delhi and Islamabad blame each other for resorting to unprovoked firings. Families of at least 15 Indian miners trapped in a coal mine were seen standing at a site in India's northeastern Meghalaya province on Monday, watching rescue operations in a hope to see them alive. The miners got trapped on December 13th when flood waters rushed through the rat hole mines. Relatives of at least 15 Indian miners trapped in a rat hole mine in India's northeastern Meghalaya province for 18 days were still standing vigil at the site on Monday, watching rescue operations in a hope to see their family members. The miners got trapped on December 13th when flood waters rushed through the illegal mine. Early on Sunday, Indian Navy divers attempted to rescue the miners but returned empty-handed due to unexpectedly high water levels inside the chamber. I'm looking हम लोग को बस्ती का नाती का छोटा भाई का बस्ती का भतीजा देखने का इंतजार करता है दे इन्फॉर्म अस दैट दे हैव फाउंड अ वुडन स्ट्रक्चर इनसाइड द मेन शाफ्ट दे हैव फाउंड दे हैव गो डीप टू द बॉटम एंड बट विजिबिलिटी इज वेरी पोर Thousands of workers have been killed in so-called red hole mining in Meghalaya, which involves miners crawling into narrow shafts on bamboo leathers to mine for low-quality coal. Authorities had banned such unregulated mining in 2014, but it still goes on in some places. India's National Investigation Agency on Tuesday conducted follow-up searches in northern Uttar Pradesh province in connection with the new Islamic State module busted last month. The searches were conducted on the basis of information provided by 10 persons who were arrested in previous raids on December 26th. India's National Investigation Agency or NIA on Tuesday conducted five follow-up searches in Amroha city of northern Uttar Pradesh province in connection with an Islamic State or ISIS module case. The follow-up searches came after the NIA recently busted an ISIS-inspired terror module in the city and arrested 10 people. The searches were reportedly conducted on the basis of the information provided by the 10 arrested men. 
the NIA had last month carried out searches at 17 different locations in national capital New Delhi and Uttar Pradesh province and uncovered the ISIS inspired module the counter terrorism agency claimed the module was at an advanced stage of planning to carry out a series of blasts in the country during the initial searches it had recovered large quantities of explosive material weapons and ammunition including a country made rocket launcher these searches in is from afghanistan critics including officials from afghanistan's influential political parties election observers and lawmakers on monday alleged the decision by the independent election commission of postponing the presidential elections has been taken under government's pressure the afghan poll body has delayed the presidential elections until june 20th Officials from some of Afghanistan's influential political parties, election observers and lawmakers on Monday criticized the decision by the Independent Election Commission or IEC for postponing the country's presidential elections until July 20th, 2019. The critics said the electoral body took the decision under political pressure imposed on it by the government. The presidential elections were initially scheduled for April 20th. However, the poll body announced the new date on Sunday. روز ما شک داریم که کمیسیون مسابقه انتخابات بتونه با این ظرفیت و با این توانمندی خود آماده بسازن به انتخابات ریاست جمهوری در موقعی که فعلا اعلام کردن Meanwhile lawmakers said changing the election timeline was violation of the law and that members of the election commission should be punished by legal and judicial institutions The IEC has also hit back over the allegations and said the decision to delay the polls was a decision which has been made in the national interest In news from Bangladesh, Bangladesh's Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Monday rejected claims of vote rigging by opposition and said people had gone to the polls enthusiastically that ruling alliance swept with the landslide. The alliance dominated by her Awami League won 288 out of 300 seats. Bangladesh's Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Monday rejected opposition complaints of vote rigging. and said people had gone to the polls enthusiastically in a largely peaceful general election that her ruling alliance swept with a landslide hasina dismissed complaints of cheating telling reporters that the opposition had done badly in the election as it lacked leadership the opposition rejected the result and called for a fresh vote complaining of what it said was widespread rigging i i must say categorically that we are rejecting the results of the just ended held 11th national uh, parliamentary election and we are asking for a new election re-election under a neutral government as soon as possible hasina won a third straight term in sunday's election with the alliance led by her awami league winning 288 of the 300 seats the chief election commissioner rejected the opposition's demand for a rerun of the vote he said voting had been held in a peaceful manner trout fish cultivation has gained philip in india's northern jammu and kashmir province as they are being reared under the guidance of experts trout is a cold water fish found plenty in rivers flowing in from the upper reaches of the himalayan range Trout fish cultivation has gained Philip in Laribal fish farm at Dhachi Gam National Park in India's northern Jammu and Kashmir province as they are being reared under the guidance of experts from the fishery department. The trout breeding period starts from November and continues till February. During breeding when eggs of the trout are put on the trays medicines are applied water level is maintained and dead eggs are removed. Trout both brown and the rainbow species is a cold fish found aptly in the Bees, Sutlej and Ravi rivers flowing in from the upper reaches of the Himalayan range. Main maqsad yahan par ye hai ki hamara zyada citrus rehta hai yahan par breeding par. Kyunki ye seed production farm hai. Yahan se hum seed produce karte hain aur supply bhi karte hain chahe wo private sector ho ya hamare apne units ho. Jahan tak trout ब्रीडिंग का ताल्लुक है इट स्टार्ट राइट फ्रॉम नवंबर ऑनवर्ड्स अप टू एंडिंग फेबरवरी 
हम बहुत ही मेहनत करते हैं कि यहाँ टी सी एफ लैरबल में ये मुलाजिम है फिर हम जब हम ब्रीडिंग करते हैं ब्रीडिंग में अहम है क्योंकि इनकी पैदावार नहीं हो सकती है कि अगर ब्रीडिंग अच्छी से नहीं हो हो जाए The saga of trout farming in Kashmir Valley dates back to the era of British colonial rule. It is believed that trout was introduced here for angling by an Englishman, Frank Michel, in 1899. He reared the trout in the premises of his private carpet factory in Old Srinagar and later established the first trout hatchery on the outskirts of the city in 1901. A flower show was recently organized in India's southern Vishakhapatnam city in which more than 130 varieties of flowers and potted saplings were exhibited for the visitors. Different types of flowers including baby carnations, helicorn, asiatic and oriental lilies were used in the decorations. A flower show was recently organized in Vishakhapatnam city of India southern Andhra Pradesh province in which more than 130 varieties of flowers and potted saplings were exhibited for the visitors. Nature enthusiasts from across the province thronged the annual flower exhibition to witness the craft displayed by the artist in making different designs with multi-hued flowers and vegetables. बहुत अच्छा है मैंने बहुत सारे डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फ्लावर्स देखे इधर बहुत सारे बहुत बहुत कुछ फ्लावर्स देखने को मिल रहा है जो मैं मैंने कभी पहले नहीं देखे थे वो अब देखने को मिल रहा है सारे वेजिटेबल्स और सारे बहुत अच्छे अ वैरायटी ऑफ फ्लावर्स इंक्लूडिंग बेबी कार्नेशंस हेलिकन टाइगर ऑर्किड्स एशियाटिक एंड ओरिएंटल लिलीज वर यूज्ड इन द डेकोरेशंस India is a small player in the 40 billion dollar global cut flower industry dominated by Holland, France, Italy, South Africa and Thailand. People across India welcomed New Year with fireworks, dance and music as the clock struck midnight. Tourists and locals gathered in many buzzing cities to witness stage performances and dance the night away to celebrate the arrival of the new year. People across India rang in the New Year festivities with fireworks, dance and music as the clock struck the midnight on Tuesday. Tourists and locals in India's tourist hub of Goa gathered in large number to witness stage performances and dance the night away. और न्यू ईयर पे यहाँ पे अलग ही एक एम्बियंस फील होता है तो उसके लिए मैंने डिसाइड किया कि मैं अपना जो न्यू ईयर है वो कहीं भी इधर उधर वेस्ट नहीं करूँगा अपने थर्टी की नाइट यहाँ पे अपना पूरा एंजॉय करूंगा Similar scenes were witnessed in Chennai city of southern Tamil Nadu province where people gathered at the famous Marina Beach dancing and cheering to welcome the new year with pomp and fervor. Visitors from around the globe enjoyed traditional cuisines and enjoyed at the famous beaches to celebrate the arrival of new year. Uh, we here for vacation. We always want to see Chennai. Weather is great, food is awesome and everybody is welcome us so 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 nice. We really enjoyed it. We felt very welcome. Meanwhile, India's showbiz capital Mumbai was also decorated with lights as the city came alive with the festive spirit and people celebrated the new year with gusto. The city was abuzz with activity as both young and old took part in the festivities with KT. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories once again, Pakistan violates ceasefire along frontier in India's Jammu and Kashmir. Bangladeshi Premier rejects poll rigging claims after a landslide win. And India rings in 2019 with fireworks, dance and revelry. Now our viewers can watch the show on southasianewsline.com. You can also visit us on facebook.com/sasianewsline and follow us on Twitter at sasianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night.